The annual Burning Man Festival in Nevada has turned into a dangerous mud bath this year. Torrential rains have turned the desert site into a swampland, and there's more rain in the forecast. Roads in and out of the area have now been closed. Officials and Burning Man organizers are telling the tens of thousands stranded there to shelter in place and not try to make it out on their own. CBC's Sarah Levitt is in our Washington bureau where she is keeping an eye on the situation in Nevada. No, it's supposed to be this uh, week-long festival in a dry, dusty desert. But of course, these torrential rains have turned the Black Rock Desert into a, a muddy disaster. We saw those images. It's, it's pretty intense. And there's 70,000 people stranded on the site. The area got two to three months worth of rain in a 24-hour period. Now, it's not entirely unheard of for this to happen. Uh, I spoke with a meteorologist who said this type of thing happens, but the short amount of time uh, is what made the difference. And then on top of it, on the desert, you usually have that dry clay that's turned now into a thick mud, and it's made it impossible for vehicles to get out. Some festival goers have trudged their way uh, out miles, either barefoot or with plastic bags around their shoes. Um, and the Pershing County Sheriff's Office in that area says it is investigating a death at the site, and but they could not say yet if it was weather related. Now, despite those conditions, some people remain in good spirits. Here's one of them. It's a survival event. Like you come out here to be in a harsh climate and you prepare for that. So in many ways, everybody here just kind of made friends with their neighbors and it's a community event. It's an event about art, and uh, you just kind of went back to the roots. I think almost everybody really enjoyed having it be extremely harsh. Organizers are asking people who are there to shelter in place. Don't attempt to leave, particularly not uh, with the vehicles. But they do say that they have vehicles at a ranger station to get anyone out who has a, a medical or emergency issue. Uh, resources, they say, they do have uh, supplies of water, food, medical supplies, but they do say to uh, ration those if you do have them. They've also set up some Wi-Fi stations so people can reach out to family to tell them they're safe. But driving out remains uh, prohibited. They say the desert bed needs to dry out. That's CBC's Sarah Levitt in Washington. Mark Fromson is a Canadian attending the festival. He describes what it was like when the deluge started coming down. Well, on Friday, we were way across camp, uh, probably a mile away from our camp, just saying hello to another camp. And the rain started. And at first, it was just a drizzle, but then it kept picking up and picking up. So we got stranded there for about three hours. And uh, they were very nice and fed us and gave us some of their extra clothing off their back. and. Uh, we just watched it come down until basically it was just a muddy mess. And so you couldn't move bikes. All vehicles were basically stopped in their tracks. Uh, people were losing their shoes in the mud. And uh, it was pretty chaotic. Uh, and people were a little bit worried that it was gonna continue. Um, and so about uh, near sunset, we knew we had to make a move back to our camp so that we could have shelter for the evening. So we actually had to walk about a mile in the mud and we took our shoes off and just went barefoot and went all the way across Playa um, to the other side of Black Rock City. And we were treated to a beautiful double rainbow right over the man as we were walking across the playa. So it was a bit of silver linings for us. Burners are very, very self-sufficient. We come out here really, really prepared for the most part. Uh, no one was scared. Everybody was in great spirits. And, you know, it's just uh, another day on the playa for, for us, basically. Mark Fromson is a Canadian stranded at the Burning Man Festival in Nevada.